Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. <coughs> Patier here with you today with a quick update on our silkies. We absolutely love these guys. We've moved them out to the barn. You know, they're very small, even though they're growing. So we've got them temporarily in a large <laughs> dog kennel, which is working very well. Um, we're keeping them separate for now. We're trying to finish up on the chicken coop expansion, which we started this month. But the rain and then the blizzard snow and the seven degree weather and septic issues <laughs> kind of took over. Excuse me, boys, I'm a little bit busy. Thank you. So, the Silkies are doing great. We are going to move them over into their own separate coop or side of the coop. Um, but for now, we wanted to move them to the barn to give them more space, um, acclimate them a little bit better to the colder temperatures because when we move them to the, obviously when we move them out, they're not gonna be used to the colder weather. So we wanted to get them acclimated. And they're just doing great. You can see how they're growing. We have seven different types. We've talked about those before. We are looking at these babies being, oh gosh, um, they were born at the first of November, if my memory serves. So we are pushing the third week, fourth week of January. So um, they're getting up there around 12 weeks. Obviously we have not sexed them yet. Um, it's pretty um, indeterminate in terms of what they are, except for one uh, who we are pretty confident back there uh, is a rooster. Uh, Bumble is the protector of the group. You can see him there in the back corner. He protects all of these babies. And clearly we have a wolf. We have a black copper moran putting a young rooster in his place as well, right to my right also. So this is part of the barn, barn life, barn living. They've done very well acclimating out here. Um, they get fresh water and feed twice a day, fresh bedding. Uh, we packed around some straw really heavy uh, for them around their cage. They've just done great. So I just wanted to show you real quick. <laughs> What's that pine shaving baby? Oh my goodness, you're fuzzy. And they're fuzzy and cute and just precious. I will tell you that I have noticed that silkies tend to drink a lot of water. Um, they really, you need to really watch their water and keep everything fresh for them and uh, everything very dry because of their, uh, the way that they are um, feathered out. So I'm gonna come in a little bit close here and let you get a little up close and personal of these sweethearts and see how they're doing. We appreciate you asking about them. When we get them completely transferred over to the new coop, the new coop area, we will certainly update you. The weather and the snow and everything that's been going on just absolutely halted that project for us. So we had to find a quick little temporary fix here. And they just do their own little thing and they stay together and they're just happy as little larks, as they say. We appreciate y'all watching here at Appalachia's Homestead. If you like what you see, check us out on Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest. We'll have more goodies coming your way. Y'all take care out there and we appreciate y'all watching.